Ladies and gentlemen, we move on to our next match and we move weight class to the men's middleweight division and another incredible debutant. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome him now. He is a multiple Russian national champion, multiple EAF European champion and a multiple WAF champion of the world. Welcome making his debut here tonight, Artem Tainov. Artem Tainov makes his debut here on East vs. West stage. He said himself coming in in his best shape of his life, gives zero chances to Sasha. He said maybe something unexpected can happen. That's the only way I can lose. Just looking massive, strong, and ready. Ladies and gentlemen, hails from the great arm wrestling nation of Bulgaria. This man is a multiple Bulgarian national champion, EAF champion, and WAF champion of the world. He is also the reigning and defending East versus West middleweight champion. Welcome, Sasha Andre. Sasha Andreev, 26 years old, 88 kilos. If this man retires today, he will go down as one of the legends of our sport. Multiple, multiple time buff world champion. Goes to everyone like hot knife through a butter. Super strong, super committed to this. Again, his classic stretch before any match. And he's ready to pull on Artem Tainov. Artem Tainov knows he needs to be quick and he needs to go over Sasho's pronator <laughs> to get this match. Well, let's see. Point uh, toss. Eight. Okay. <gasps> Very. So this is a left arm match. Tino, of course, doesn't want the buckle to be on his hand. I think this will definitely help Sasho because Sasho is not trying to get the height from the buckle. He wants connection from the buckle. We're getting ready for the first round of this title match, left arm super match. Artyom Tainov versus Sasha Andreev. Sasha Andreev, reigning and defending WAF World Champion. Artyom Tainov, last man to beat him in WAF World Championship on the left arm. Ooh, I'm excited to see speed versus grind. This is ridiculous. One of the most exciting matchups you could possibly wish for. Watch for the speed. It might be even hard for Sasha to get to a strap because that's what he wants and that's what Tainov wants. Oh, very good slip. Even I, I felt like Sasha went over the top. Yeah, I'll tell you what he did do. He balled his hand up. If you watch that, we may see it on the replay. If we don't, it was a ball up on the hand. Literally made that small hand even smaller. Knuckles to the roof, made the fist. We go to the strap. This is Sasho's world. Sasho, 169 centimeters for Sartim Tino, 181. But Sasho has long arms for a shorter guy. He has very long arms and the hand isn't the biggest but it's very thick and it's very powerful. We have seen Sasha top roll multiple times where people don't expect him to. Doesn't because use he's a just box so either. strong. Look at the, I mean, you'd think he'd get closer. This is not a tall man. This guy can sleep sideways in a single bed. Yeah. I look big when I stand next to him. I look tall, sorry. He looks big. But the power is ridiculous. And the ortho unorthodox movement is... I feel Sasha looks like a little bit more back pressure than side pressure. See? Right now he does. But he might do what Krasimir does, loads up and then hits sideways. Let's see. Yeah, he went on the top roll. And Artem Taino gets stuck. And as long as much stops, I think it favors Sasha Andrea. We see Sasha's hand getting bent back a little bit. Wow, that was unexpected. Ray, fear thee the transition. Great you transition. hang out there and he got a little relaxed. Yes. When you looked at Sasho's face, yeah. he was soaking, he, thought, oh, he was I relaxed, it's done. Yeah. He that was a this. serious error in judgment because Tynoff is brave. He's definitely brave. And he's explosive. And confident. 1-0, Artyom Tynoff. He's also got God in his corner. 
it's actually Andre, but he's got that god beard rocking pretty good. Now, look at the face. Let's, uh, let's oh, see, ooh, let's see we go. what Replay. Sasha will Watch do this. right now. He kind of get a little bit of the hand, but he, he allowed himself to be stretched out yeah, to uncomfortable position. As soon position. as we saw that palm to Versus the ceiling. Versus someone who can move. We see Taino just went in for a press, dig deep, and got it. Maybe the hook is better solution for Artem Taino than a top roll. Now, looking at that, mate, I was just going to say, <laughs> looking at that, do you think if Sasha had slotted <laughs> forward there and tried to sit into that hook, you think it would have been a different result? Or do you still think that Tainov could have come round and, and, and hit that press? I feel like it would be a kind of similar position. Maybe Sasha got his shoulder in better position right right there. But because he went on the outside, mm -hmm. he was very open. And he's used to being very open. I, I think every time, every second the match stops, it favors Sasha in the later rounds. Very, very relaxed there, Sasha. Still seems confident. Knows that he had the arm strength to put the brakes on and make no mistake about it that explosive hit is the main weapon of Artem Tainov definitely so uh, what adjustments are we going to see here Ray do you feel like uh, this time if it gets to that resting spot we'll see a much more aggressive Sasha I'm, I'm more interested to see what Artem Tainov does will he stick to a top roll and maybe get a stuck another one or he will try to surprise yeah, ah! did he feel like he's got some yes. arm for him yeah. yes he definitely feels like he has and Sasha right now has to figure out the puzzle where the speed of Artem Tainov will well go. he's definitely gripped lower he's deeper if you look at that he's definitely deeper on that grip rest rest I'm ready to start winding up the crowd rest. a little bit rest Rest. Ready. Go move. Go! And away we go. Big drive. Straight Went for the press. Inside. Went inside with yeah. the press. Went for that Went flop inside. press and uh, advantage gain there on the hand and wrist, but that's pretty irrelevant. The strap will be the difference maker. But one thing that answered the question, does Tyner feel like he's got something for him on arm? Yep. Definitely. Absolutely. Has. Definitely has. <laughs> he really does. Yeah. No more evidence I'm, I'm, than that. I'm more, a little bit more shocked that uh, that Sasha is fighting through the top. Yeah, he's he's using a lot of back pressure lot there, of back and, and pressure. he's yep. he's, he's also <laughs> a fair degree of pronation in there, mate. You can see the back of the hand. He he was in a good position to catch the slip, get it back. <sighs> this, could go yeah. this could go either Again, way. This could go either way. Again, Tino could play a game mm -hmm. where he hit for a side pressure. Now he goes more back pressure, more on top. Uh, and also with the strap now, you feel like he's got the opportunity to go a lot deeper into the match yes. without worrying about the rise yes. from from Sasha. I feel like this is the moment where Sasha needs to go inside. Yeah, the buckle is on Tino's hand. Yeah. It's harder for him to get the top. It's harder for him to take the wrist of Sasha, which was very hard to do when it wasn't on. And, and tying off there, not looking for the for the height. He wasn't, mind you, they're going to reapply. But he wasn't looking for the hand there. He stayed low. Yeah, wrist to wrist. I feel this will go inside. It looks that way. Either either inside or it's going to be another tying off press because maybe he's not deep enough actually for the press. It does look like it's going to be a hook here. But tying off definitely feels like he's got some arm there, and he's he's pretty confident. Look at his face. Yeah, both guys are very very relaxed. Not looking at each other in the eye at all. This is a title match. Left arm, mm -hmm. world championship on the line. 95 kilos. Will and Sasha right Andreo. Tying off. <coughs> Dream star. Well, Artem Tino. One yeah. pin to the good. Oh. Against Sasha Andreev of Bulgaria. <gasps> both these men. Super decorated. Both men. <laughs> many times. Low grip national. on both of them. Oh, I yeah. feel like Artem Tino Rest. might go for a press or a hook again. Rest. But he's setting up his shoulder going Rest. backwards. Center. Yes. Yeah, he's definitely backing off a little but there without a shadow of a doubt. I feel like he will come forward. And Sasha looks a lot more aggressive with that super. Oh, yeah, it is. He went backwards. Sasha gets it. Now, very Sasha. close. Very close. Sasha Much still defended very good. With the shoulder, though, right? And and the truck starts pulling. And the truck wow. starts pulling. Transition oh. attempt by Tynoff, and he's deep there. So deep. Going to the pad. Wow. I'll tell Great you what. One. That was an incredible. Incredibly brave transition because he was outside his shoulder. 2 0, Artem Taino is leading this match. Can Sasha Andreev take the center? The, the main question and the main focus of this match whoever takes the center will have the advantage, and Sasha is losing the center in every round.
Is it me or does Sasha look a little little bit asleep there? He, his movements seem a little reactive. He's not initiating. He seemed to feed his hand in there, but it was slow motion. And Tynoff is so yes. brave. Or Steino is just so fast that it looks like he's in slow motion. But you'd think that Sasha would know that was coming at that time. He'd shut down the pronator. There was no road back. And we've seen in the first round that Tynoff is absolutely open to jumping in for that press. You, he must have known that was coming. He must have known that was coming. Yeah, he needed to know there was transition. But again, he left this. And that, that's kind of problem with Sasho. If you can stop him and then transition where you trap his, trap his arm because he's outside of his shoulder. When he's inside of his shoulder, well, it's very hard to stop him. There's not a lot of people on the planet that could actually do it. But you get him out of position. With Tyner was doing very good with his speed, either to a hook, press, or a top roll. And then traps him, gets deeper. Yeah. And relentless. Relentless. He doesn't back off that one bit. He really, really stayed on I it. I felt like the game plan he was explaining to me, uh, he went the opposite road and it's working perfectly. He was thinking it will be top roll and it will be fast and maybe we'll pull in a hook, maybe. But right now, it's uh, trap the arm, transition to a press. Good to see the crazy shark in his corner there as well. He's been there since he was a kid, since... It, uh, Artem was uh, in the juniors and, and he's still there. Beard's a little longer now, that's for sure. Well, some time has passed. It can happen. Yeah. Here we go. Round number three. Can, uh, can Sasha Andreo turn this around we'll for the see. world title? Yeah, of East versus West, 95 could, kilos. Could change hands here. In his, in his debut, in his debut, Artem Tino is showing amazing line of Big slip. We're going to go to the strap as expected. This time went for a top. Didn't surprise us with the press. Could have done that. Maybe could have ended it. We'll I think see. he feels like that resting spot is the time. I think he feels like if he can expose the arm. Yes. And why wouldn't you? Twice exactly. Sasho's allowed that. So yeah. Sasho needs to wake up. And we saw him do this against Paul Lynn. Are we going to see same suit warmed over? Will it be a resurgent? Yeah. Sasha Andreev, or is tonight the night for another impressive debutant to make their name here at East versus West 10? I, abs I absolutely believe the longer the match goes, it favors Sasha Andreev. He's that kind of puller. A lot of power, but if the horsepower is near, he needs to take the longer rounds. And this will tell, tell us the story. Can Artem Taino win this one and takes the title, or Sasha is still in this match? Round number three, two zero, Artem Taino. Here we go. Artem Taino, leading by two pins. Goes with the top roll again. Oh, big drive, oh, big top roll attack big, from Sasha Ray. Big drive from and Sasha, very that close. Hand badly now. That's yes. a great position. Now he can hang in there, or he can Cubs wait. Cubs deeper, Cubs deeper, and almost, oh. almost, so Super close, aggressive. so close. Titans, but look at the arm strength here from Tynoff. Now, Sasho is in a great spot. It's Sasho a shame with a not, top roll. I, will, I was face. never expecting to say this in this match. Sasho with a top roll. I'd love to have, there we go. Let's have a look at the face of Sasha. Don't wait, that would be a terrible idea. And Artem Tino oh, grinds it out and takes the title. What can you say? The press no! attack from Artem Tynoff. And the second time we saw Sasho a little hesitant, didn't make the move he needed, punished. The title changed his hands. Here we go. Look at that again on the replay, and you could see the arm strength of Artem Tynoff was ridiculous. The commitment and the relentless attack. Look at that. Artem Tynoff just drove. He would not accept no for an answer. Smashed it down to the pad, and he claims the East versus West middleweight title. It's going back to Russia. Artem Tynoff with an incredibly impressive debut here 
the second of our debutants. Show Andre, quiet, 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 quiet. To go away with the win, what a way to start your career. We said in the opening conversations that Tynoff had the pedigree, multiple national, European and world champion. Yeah, Rowley Ray just done a lap of the stairs for no apparent reason. And now he knows how I feel. That was fun. I was like, what happened? Was there elbow foul or something? They're like, they got to pull all five rounds. And you're the one with, those, with the cardio. I have had to do that like three times. Yeah. It's bad, isn't it? Are you struggling for breath, be honest? No, it's good. Can it's not that bad. Nice. I like it's not that bad. I've got Artem to say... Tino wins the title. Still str two matches to Strategically, run. if you're Sasha Andreev, what are you doing pulling another round? You've got to pull John Brzezink yeah. later tonight. Maybe he should go lay down, take the two, and 5-0. I would... Uh... Yeah, that would be my suggestion, <laughs> I right? would be... Very, very lacking in effort in these two. He's got a very hard match coming. Let's see what he does here. There's no backward steps on Sasha Andreev. <laughs> Never. Artem Tynoff knows he's secured the title. Big smiles, total difference in the approach to the match. And I won't imagine that Sasha's going to contest this. I'd be very surprised if he really gives this his... No, he's Bulgarian, and he goes for it like hell. Massive drive, takes the Massive hand and wrist. Top roll. Massive top roll. Massive top roll. He's not been hanging around with you, has he? And you can see that Artem not really prepared to contest that hard. Why bother? It's over. I'm impressed by Sasha top rolling, but maybe there's a reason why he's not hooking fully. Maybe there's some shoulder issues Quite possible. that we don't know. Because, like... His ace move has always been side pressure, and it's for him it's hard to engage it. Even when he got the position, he kind of tried, and then he stopped. He, he did look hesitant tonight, mate. Yeah. When he, he was sort of in, he got the position and seemed to be waiting. I don't know why, but when you looked, he had some resting spots there when you'd feel like, I've got, particularly when you know what's coming. He's got to really commit to get that guy outside of his shoulder, and he failed to do so. And that is a terrible mistake with a guy so aggressive and so relentless. And Tynoff deserved this win. Definitely. Tyno showed amazing arm wrestling. Came in with a game plan that was thrown out of the window straight away. Changed the game plan, worked perfectly. Trapped the arm, transitioned to a press, go sideways. Artem Tynoff, another name arrives. An exciting, explosive arm wrestler from Russia. And he will be hard work for anybody. Very, very strong. He, he was calling out Alijan Murato. He said, I wanted to try... Alja Murato, which is current 105 kilo, East versus West left arm champion, and current WF super heavyweight left arm world champion. And we know Two years in a row. He's got a date booked with Evgeny Prudnik, and what a match that is. That is absolutely insane match. Uh, Evgeny Prudnik, perfect, perfect example of great arm wrestling last time he performed here. Uh, round number five, score is 3-1. Artem Taino has has won this match already, but still is giving his all. Don't move. A little early there. Way too early. He ain't cheating, he ain't right. trying. Damn right. A little Don't bit of a bump move. there. <laughs> Hand and wrist control by Sasha, but you feel like that's got straps written all over it. It does. And the straps have got East versus West arm wrestling written all over them. And that is what you are watching, ladies and gentlemen. East versus West 10. And the big story of this match is that the man with the darker hair there, Artem Tynoff of Russia, is the new middleweight champion of the world here in the left-hand division. And looked so impressive. Unexpected route to victory, but a very convincing one. He stuck with the move we saw in the second round that he decided he was going to commit, make it about arms, and that is what he did. And he did successfully. Super impressive. Forced... Sasha Andreev onto the B-side early in all the rounds and showed that bravery, showed that experience, the explosive, relentless transitions delivered the goods. And he will leave Istanbul as the new champion of the world. Here we go, Ray. Round number five. Both guys still look committed to this match. It's going to be a big drive to the top again from and Sasha. Sasha Andreev takes it. Three two. Off, thinks better of it. Really feeling a little bit of that exertion and not surprising, really. He jumped on the press throughout this evening and not an easy thing to do at all. 
Those massive forearms absolutely blown up there and super disappointing evening there for the former champion, Sasha Andreev. He'll have a chance to go home, lick his wounds and look at this thing and maybe he was carrying some kind of injury, don't know. But he said in the press conference that he felt amazing and his arm strength was clearly there, but a little hesitant at points. And you cannot wait on a guy that committed. Look at the face of Artem Tynov as he hit the pad to secure the championship of the world. It meant so much to him. He dug super deep, super tight, and been an explosive arm wrestler all his career. And tonight, in his debut here in Turkey, his first time out at East versus West, it was more of the same for Russia's Artem Tynov. We saw the top roll come out of the bag tonight from Sasho Andreev. Not something we've seen many times from Sasho, but it is there. And you know you're doing something right if you're forcing Sasho Andreev to utilize the back pressure and the top roll. Such was the strength from the new champion of the world. His name is Artem Tynov, and he's with Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, your new East versus West world champion at 95 kilos, left arm Artem Taino. Award presented by Arsene Lillian. Artem Taino. Ты чемпион. Только что пришел здесь участвовать первый раз и сразу чемпион. Твой план был через верх, но все поменялось. Да, скажи об этом. So first time here in East versus West and straight gets a title shot and wins his title match. His plan was to top roll, but that went out the window and anything else happened. Let's hear from him. В первом поединке, в принципе, все, все пошло, как я запланировал. Верхом сработал хорошо. Что-то со второго раунда пошло не так. Не ожидал, что Сашо так потянет борьбу верхом. Большой ему респект и уважуха. Красивый поединок. Ну, в итоге пришлось бороться в крюк. Ну, в принципе, в крюке тоже умею бороться, поэтому не составило труда. Но, конечно, выносливость надо подработать, потому что третий раунд был на грани. So he said, round number one, my plan was to top roll, then went perfectly, transition to a press. Round number two, the top roll didn't really work. Uh, Sasha's top roll was way better. He didn't expect that. And of course, he said he needs to work on his endurance. He said round number three, he gave his all just to finish and pin Sasha and take the title. What would be the next opponent you want for East versus West? Who is the next opponent you want to защитить твой свой титул или другому чемпиону? Ну я давно хотел побороться с Муратом Алижаном из Казахстана. Поэтому был бы рад с ней побороться. Ну, а на праву, в принципе, любого жду. He said, with right arm, he's ready to pull anyone. With left arm, he would love to pull Alajan Muratov. Yeah. Artem Tainov, your new world champion. Congratulations. Yeah. 